Hello and welcome to everybody's favorite, a sketchbook tour. Now I'm gonna be entirely honest, this video is happening because I didn't have another one planned. Life's been a little bit busy lately, you know, good things, but time consuming things. But first I got a new desk set up, so let's take a little look, shall we? So I got the FlexiSpot standing desk, which can go up and down as you need it to. I'm an 85 year old woman in a 20 year old body and you know, we got some back issues going on right now. So I also got this lovely little typewriter-esque keyboard because you know, aesthetics. Also it's yellow and I love yellow. We got the monitor, we've got Harriet in the spot of glory. We also have a little catch-all for like inks and my drawing tablet pen, ink pen, all that jazz. It's been absolutely fantastic and I'm pretty much in love with the setup. So anyways, without further ado, let's get into the sketchbook. So we've got some stickers for aesthetics, of course. I didn't really think much about the composition when I was putting these on there. I just kind of slapped them on and yeah, called it good. So in traditional alley fashion, I did not do anything for the front page because I don't like to set too high of an expectation for myself. So when I started this, I was prepping for an Oktoberfest show, so I wanted to make some cute little food stickers and like a little drindle girl with little, you know, Oktoberfest elements. Um, funny enough, I sold none of this at the festival and didn't even make back my booth fee, so that was very fun. But anyways, I had a lot of fun painting all the little foods and stuff. Um, don't ask me to pronounce any of these because honestly... <laughs> I don't have any idea. Next up, we've got some little sketches, as you do. Um, I kind of actually want to turn these into paintings, maybe, sometime in the future. I don't know. We'll see. So this was a painting from my profile picture. I did a little thumbnail and a little color comp. Um, obviously, I didn't stick fully to it because I realized that I wear denim more than I wear plaid. So we got me as a little gnome with bits and bobbles and Fergus, so yeah. Next up, we've got some little ink pen sketches. I think this was actually, this was actually taped in from a different sketchbook, like a little mini, like, I don't know what size that would be. Small, a small sketchbook. It was a cute little house on one of the streets in our town and I was like, hmm, I could sketch that. So these little sketches are for a story that I've kind of not really fleshed out like at all, but just drawn. <laughs> That's how these things usually go is I just, you know, sketch something and develop a story and then don't write it down because I'm me. So part of the idea is that all of the animals are like combined with foods. So there's like a maca raccoon and a merengaroo. I like food puns. Don't judge me. Got some little gouache house sketches with trees because why not? These ones, I guess these ones are mushrooms. These ones are glowy mushrooms though, that's kind of fun. This one kind of reminds me of a cookie, like a chocolate chip cookie. I don't know, I don't think that was the intention, but that's what happened, so. Next up, we've got some fall aesthetic. We got our little color comps over here. And then the little pumpkin spice girl. I think I actually made prints of this one because I, I don't know, I like how she turned out. She looks like a little, like a little fall doll. And the pumpkins, the pumpkins were fun. Next up is, ooh, these ones are from the dance theme of the 100 scene studies challenge. I had to just kind of throw little studies in wherever I could, wherever I could find room in the book. So yeah. Then this, I don't like how this turned out. Um, her face is wonky. Yeah. <laughs> I do like the little lines on the on the on the rocks though. That was kind of fun. And the frog. The frog is cute. Faces. Lots and lots of faces. Um I don't know why, but I just draw heads sometimes. And I was really feeling this like rainbow pencil that I had where it like changes color as you draw. I don't know, very aesthetically pleasing. Also, the marker didn't bleed through the pages and that was very exciting. <laughs> We've got some Hobbit gingerbread holes. Those were fun. Ignore that. I don't know what happened here. Just mark making, I guess. I don't know. Okay, so this is one of my favorite spreads in the entire sketchbook, especially this one. This one's my favorite. <laughs> little bobbles. So basically bits and bobbles are these like little squishy forest folk people. 
Bits is a barista, makes coffees, does like, you know, coffee alchemy, I guess you could say. And Bits is a baker. He loves to make muffins, although it doesn't always go very well sometimes. He also takes a PB&J with him, like literally everywhere. I don't know. Bits is very adventurous and does like lots of cool things. And then Bubbles is very homey and just, you know, kind of chill. Bits is who I aspire to be and Bubbles is who I am. So, you know. We've got food, lots and lots of food. Also these you might recognize from a different sketchbook tour. So these were originally in just like a cheap, like $2 one from the store. And then I cut them out so I could transfer the sketch to the other sketchbook where I would actually paint them. But then I just had these ripped out paintings. So I shoved them in this sketchbook. Very convoluted, I know, but you know, it is what it is. We've got a little gnome girl watercolor, little food sushi cupcake because why not apparently these ones i didn't bother to paint so this is a little fergus the fox painting i did it was like this challenge where there was different themes and the theme was crystal so i turned him into like a little crystal fox thing honestly i kind of like how it turned out but i never really did anything with it so it just lives here in my sketchbook now this page i think is where <laughs> my love of painting food really got started especially with this one. This is kind of one of the ones that blew up on Instagram a little bit, which was very exciting. The yard milkshake bar painting, just little treats and things. It's funny because you can kind of see the progression of like learning how to paint different food textures as you go down the page. This one is actually a sticker I made recently. Um, I also really like this one, the little cookie jar with the little ribbon. <sighs> so fun. Um, we're not we're not gonna talk about this let's let's move on habit holes yay everyone's favorite okay so this is where we get started with the delicious adventures of millicent pudding and victor fudge so basically they live in this like sweets world where like everything is food themed <laughs> are you sensing a pattern here because i am <laughs> this is where my love of food and painting it really began was with this sketchbook so we went through a lot of different Millicent and Victor illustrations or um, iterations in this sketchbook, especially with Victor. He <laughs> he went through a lot of different style changes. Honestly, I haven't really decided on a style for them yet. Um, I kind of like these two. So basically this candy world or like um, food world is in a battle and Millicent has a lollipop mace. Victor has sugar cookie throwing stars. I don't know, it's, I haven't really done anything with it, but I enjoy drawing them, so. More little pencil and ink pen sketches. Some of them I like, some of them I hate, you know, it's, it's what it is. So this was actually the like preliminary work for an illustration that I recently completed. I was really inspired by the feeling that you get like listening to a really, really good piece of music where you're just kind of like in the moment and I don't know, if you know, you know. <laughs> So originally I wanted either a little girl playing like an ukulele or a little fox playing the ukulele, but then I ended up putting them together. I don't know if that video is up yet. If it is, I'll link it in the description. If not, you've got something exciting coming because I really love how that painting turned out. So this you might recognize from another video. <laughs> um, these were little sketches that I did when I was wanting to do a draw this in your style challenge and I really didn't like how any of them turned out. Um, yeah, this was a very frustrating day for me. So this is a little September of 2021 spread. Oh, I skipped, no, I didn't skip a page. Little fun things that I did during the month or like little treats that I made. This one was really freaking good. I make a mean raspberry compote, y'all. Had lunch with my mom, Oktoberfest happened. Um, this was my favorite coffee syrup at the time. Me and my driving practice. Yes, I know I'm 20 and don't know how to drive, but it's fine. Book I was reading at the time. I saw a zebra that month, so I sketched that out too. Was watching Team Edge on YouTube. Go Hammerheads. So yeah, just all the little fun things that I did, did that month. And this was inspired by my very first online yoga class. This is one of my favorite poses, the twisted lunge. And I was really inspired by this idea that like 
all of us were practicing together in the moment, but virtually. So I wanted to try to like capture that in a little mini illustration of like me doing the pose and then like all the little pixelated other people out in the world doing the pose too, so. Next up is some figure drawings. I like how most of these turned out, except for this one, I didn't like that. Um, this was before I really started practicing figure drawing, like actually learning the anatomy. So they're kind of wonky, but I had a lot of fun with them, so it's all good. These are some lighting and color studies that I did from Instagram using just my own little character doodles. Apparently I didn't finish it. I start a lot of things that I don't finish, but honestly, you know, what better way to do that than in a sketchbook? This was for Sarah Tepes, 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 Tepaz. I don't know how you pronounce her username. She was doing a little draw yourself in your favorite outfit challenge. And my favorite outfit is of course joggers. I wear those literally all the time. My stitch fuzzy socks and this little skiing bunny shirt that I found at a thrift store <laughs> for like 50 cents. And I literally wear it all winter long. It's way too big and getting very worn out, but you know, that's that's the best kind. So this is when the scene studies challenge actually began. So we've got some Ratatouille, some Ron Gone Wrong, some Tangled, Wizard of Oz, and we've got some Coco. So these first five were for the Watching and Wonders theme. This one, this one, this one, and these two, no wait, that can't be right. And this one, just this one, sorry, are from the Expressions theme. Then we had our Architecture theme. Um, this one was my favorite from that one. I really love how this turned out. More of the Architecture theme. And then food. This was where I was really embracing my love of painting food, turned that into one of the themes for the scene study challenge. So we've got Ratatouille, Little Forest. If you haven't watched this movie, you absolutely should. It is so aesthetically pleasing. Got some Spirited Away, Aristocats, Lady and the Tramp. I think this was my favorite from that theme just because I really love classic Disney animation and I loved using my ink pen for this one. So then we had a pets theme or like a, I guess it wasn't a pets theme, it was just an animals theme. Again, I really love how the ink one turned out. I love Winnie the Pooh, it's my favorite. So a lot of these have like little smudges on them from where <laughs> I accidentally reactivated the paint using like the other side of the pages. So, you know, but it's a sketchbook. It's not meant to be perfect. Trees, lots of trees. I had fun with these, these were fun. We had our libraries theme. We have our creatures theme. I think the Mononoke one was my favorite from this. It's funny though, cause I hadn't actually watched Princess Mononoke yet, but then my sister ended up getting me the movie for my birthday. So I have officially watched it and it is fantastic. So if anybody asks me who my favorite Disney princess is, it's Princess Mononoke. Then we've got some environments or um, interior background design. I think this is still my favorite theme so far. I don't know, I just, it was definitely the most daunting, but for sure my favorite. Oh, apparently I didn't mark these ones for what, they, what movies they were from. This one's from Up. We've got Sleeping Beauty. This is where my obsession with Ivan Earl began. Like seriously, his trees. Oh, I love Ivan Earl. He is a fantastic gouache artist or was. <clears throat> then we've got Mr. Megorium's Wonder Emporium, Lilo and Stitch. These were for the dance theme or um, the, the gesture theme. And that is the end of the sketchbook. How long did this take me to complete? I don't know, probably too long, as most sketchbooks do. But I really had a lot of fun with this one. It's one of my favorite sketchbooks that I've ever completed. And I'm so glad that you joined me for the journey. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this little flip through of my sketchbook. Hopefully the next one won't take me quite so long to complete. If you enjoyed flipping through the scene studies of the sketchbook, make sure to watch this playlist to see the painting process behind each piece.
If you like my art and want to see more of it, head on over to Patreon to join the troupe. And if you're interested in owning some of my artwork, there's a link in the description below to my Etsy shop where you can buy stickers, originals, prints, all sorts of fun stuff. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next week. Bye guys!